welcome. In this episode, we will unbox a heat killer GPU water block and then install it onto a PNY RTX 3080 reference PCB. We will then build a test system so we can perform thermal testing on this card. Also, watch until the end for a sneak peek of the build that will house this water block. This is the Vector Network and let's begin. Cutting and opening the box. What's inside are the instructions, screws, washers, thermal pads and paste, and the water block itself. The Heat Killer 5 water block for the reference layout used by the PNY Accelerate RTX 3080 has a nickel plated copper cold plate, acrylic top with the integrated ARGB and a stainless steel front plate. We start with placing the thermal pads. The ones for the VRMs are one millimeter thick and the memory ones are half a millimeter thick. Noctua thermal paste is applied. The CB is placed directly on top. Next are the four main screws and plastic washers around the processor. There is one additional screw and washer near the PCIe connection and three screws to secure the IO bracket to the PCB. After that, we will place the thermal pads on the back side of the PCB. These are two millimeter thick thermal pads. The back plate is then placed right on top of the PCB and secured using the remaining eight metal screws. The Heat Killer 5 water block is made out of nickel plated copper and features wide, dual layer and symmetrical flow channels that distributes coolant on two parallel layers. The water block has integrated ARGB that produce illumination and lighting effects that reflect off of the nickel plated copper cold plate. The Heat Killer 5 EBC is a nickel plated anodized aluminum back plate. Here's a size comparison between the Heat Killer 5 water block and the stock coolers for the PNY RTX 3080 and 4090. Next, let's build a test system. AMD 5600X goes into the B550i ASUS motherboard. Let's add Noctua thermal paste and then put the CPU on air by mounting a Noctua NHU9S. This allows us to isolate the GPU in the custom loop for testing. Let's attach onto the cooler a stock NF A9 92mm fan and add 16 gigabytes of Corsair DDR4 3600 mega transfer memory and a Gen 4 M.2 NVMe for storage. We'll use an Alpha Cool full copper 360 radiator with three Noctua NF A12 25 fans. For the inlet and outlet on the radiator, let's add 90 degree and compression fittings for soft tubing. On the opposite end, let's add a drain port. On the back, let's add a coolant sensor. We'll use a Seasonic 850 watts 80 plus platinum power supply. Let's drop in our mini ITX motherboard onto the EDIY Open Air ATX aluminum PC frame. We'll use the EKWB FLT80 reservoir and D5 pump combo. The Aqua Computer Octo will be used to control the custom loop. Let's attach the reservoir pump combo and the controller to the test system frame. Add in the radiator, plug in the USB sensor, power, and fan cables. For the water block, we'll use Coolance QD3 Quick Disconnect Fittings. Let's add 90 degree and quick disconnect fittings to the Heat Killer 5 water block with the reference RTX 3080. And then drop it into the motherboard and plug in the two 8-pin power cables. We'll use 10 millimeter inner diameter, 13 millimeter outer diameter soft tubing. This along with the quick disconnect fittings allow for quicker swapping of GPUs for testing. For the test system and for this run, we'll use distilled water. The water will be regularly flushed and the components will be maintained and kept clean. For each testing run, 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme stress test was run and the coolant, GPU and memory temperatures and pump and fan speeds were recorded by the Aqua Computer Aqua Suite software. Three testing runs were done and the Delta GPU core, GPU memory and coolant temperatures between under load and at ambient were recorded and averages obtained across the three runs. During the stress test, the CPU core temperature rose 22 degrees Celsius from an ambient 20 degrees to 42 degrees Celsius under load. In addition, the memory rose 28 degrees Celsius from an ambient 30 degrees to 58 degrees Celsius under load. As a sneak peek, the 
plan for this card is to house it in Meshlicious Mini ITX SFF small form factor case. Stay tuned. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for a notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.